Welcome back to the Whitehorse Railway and today we're going to do a very special one. It's a Bachmann Spectrum Shea locomotive with the triple cylinders. It's been radio controlled and of course it's got sound. This is an all plastic locomotive. It has two trucks which are powered through a Cargan shaft. It has three cylinders and we'll see all these working in just a second. It's been radio controlled with an Omni 2.0 and in the back here we have the on-off switch and the charging socket. All the radio control equipment is here in the bunker. And perhaps you'd like to see that now. Down here is the Omni receiver. There's a two-part battery pack because there's a screw that goes right through the middle of them. So we had to make it in two separate parts. There's the Viper 10 speed controller and the sound card that gives all the wonderful sounds. The electronic eye is just there which communicates with the sound card remote control. Over here is the speaker, 3 inch, lovely and big. And there are lots of wires, as you can see, connecting to all the different components. So now you've seen what's on the inside. Let's start her up. First of all, we turn on the transmitter. And then, with the switch on the bunker, we turn on the loco. And there's the lovely hiss sound of the locomotive at rest. Pop the coal back on it and we can do a quick test by blowing the whistle. This one here is the bell. And this one, the safety valve blowing. We can now move it forwards. And you can hear the three cylinders going. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now, as you saw earlier, you've got three sound effects on the transmitter. The whistle, the bell, and the safety valve. But we also have two other sound effects on the remote control for the sound card, and they are the whistle, the bell, and we've also got... Yes, you heard it. All aboard. There's the safety valve. And we also have a Westinghouse pump on this loco, and there it is operating. Now there's the infrared eye on the foot plate of the locomotive with which we communicate with the sound card. So we've tested the locomotive out, let's play trains. So here we go for the start sequence. He blows the whistle. The safety valve may be blowing off. He pulls on the rope to start the bell. Turn the bell off.
a little added bonus, I noticed that underneath the locomotive there were some reed switches. This is a magnet, and that's just a little bit of tin. If we now come down to the track and you can see that I've got another style magnet, it doesn't matter, but they just fit between the sleepers, this automatically sets the sound effects off. As this goes over the cab, it sounds the sound effect. And as we come to the second one, this will set the bell off. A second magnet could be put to stop the bell, or of course, I can simply press the bell button and it stops. Doesn't get much better than that.